people. Mm -hmm. I pay for different celebrities in right. Kenya and outside Kenya. Mm -hmm. So this is for the first time right. where people are doing things for me as well. So it's such a um, a new feeling, a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Everything is just new about it. Now, someone uh, seated back home would want to know what does it entail? All right, you are selected, you were there, and out of 10, you became the only one who will represent Kenya. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you people are doing? Yeah, uh, We've been given different projects. We've been given different questions. Um, it's been a journey. It's not something that the team did not just say, oh, you're the one going mm -hmm. for it. So it's been a process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's oh. been such a, an amazing process mm -hmm. and um, yeah, as you can see, that's how I was mm -hmm. quite, uh, quite heavy and now there's a big change. Mm -hmm. I'm happier with myself, like literally. Uh, true. Now with the questions and the, the activities that you're given, yeah. what were they? Were you like in a gym? Were you in a class? Were you doing trips or what, what were you doing? No, you're just uh, like uh, the question is uh, like one of the questions is if you represent your country for Mr. Africa, like what does it entail for you and your country? Mm -hmm. Like we've just been told we are over 42 million. I mean, I need to do something that would empower a young person or a member out there who thought it's not possible for them to do it. Mm -hmm. But if you put your mind right into it, definitely you can achieve anything you want. So it was kind of an audition thing where you went yes. and you responded to these questions? Yes. Wonderful. Uh, so in your case, yeah. what will you do for Kenya? Uh, for me, I have two projects. One of the major projects that uh, most people don't talk about is mental health for men. Right. Which is okay not to be okay, but we as men are, were raised or were put up together like not to show you're going through problems and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I work with a wellness center in Malindi called uh, Shala Heart mm -hmm. and Shala Heart is helps people mentally, physically and emotionally. Mm -hmm. So like um, one of the major problem is I'm going to tackle would be mental health. Right. Uh, I think uh, the high rate of people who commit suicide uh, over depression, anxiety and everything are men. Mm -hmm. And this is a big problem that we don't talk about. True. We don't talk about it. I would like to have different forums where I can address that. Mm -hmm. uh, my second project that I'm looking into um, is cancer. Raising awareness and raising more funds to help cancer patients. Because um, mm -hmm. our main problem in Kenya is like cancer is not like what the other people take it around the world. It's still more of a taboo. Mm -hmm. People are more of afraid of cancer than HIV right now. So, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to create more awareness and I need to have members of the public figures and politicians come on board and say it's possible we can do this like the rest of the world are doing it. Right. My third and final project that I'm looking into is to assist a school in Malindi on, um, it's a celebra uh, celebrity palsy school mm -hmm. uh, where like they have special kids uh, with special abilities and that's really like I went to that school and they just melted at my heart like it was something that I would look into mm -hmm. into the school. Oh, all right, Be before we get into particulars into these uh, projects you want to do, last month was a, men a mental health uh, month where we were looking into these things. Now, uh, in your case, what did you do or what did you want to do, but uh, maybe things never worked? What I did actually is I, I have a number of people that are looking up to me and I, I didn't know this, like I knew it last month. Yeah. And uh, people have been writing to me saying like, oh my God, you're such an inspiration and uh, keep going, keep doing you. Because when I began this journey, like nobody believed in me. And mm -hmm. that was one biggest challenge that I think young people are facing is we are told things and we intend to believe what we are told. Right. Like uh, when, I, when I did this the, for the first time and I told my family and friends, mm -hmm. I want to do this, I was told I'm a daydreamer. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. Like me and my weight and everything, there's nothing that I can achieve. Now look at you now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But if I had still had that mentality that I had a few months ago, mm -hmm. I don't think if I'll be here today. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's been like... Um, so hearing that from people out there, like uh, believing in you and people pushing you is such uh, an amazing experience. And knowing that I have not even, I'm not yet there, but I'm still inspiring people. That is such an achievement for me. Uh, true. Now you mentioned about cancer and this is something that has been talked about by even our politicians, how they will do it. Now in your case, 
or what's your strategy in ensuring that maybe Kenya is cancer free or we are controlled fully? Yeah. Um, my, one of my plan is to use, like, I would love, because I've been in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. um, when you look at the outside world, like the America, Europe, uh, celebrities come together and they raise fans. And these are fans that are being monitored and to make sure that they, are, they reach the cancer patient, get special treatment. Uh, one of the things, like, uh, I've not had, like, major family member having cancer, but I have like had close family members who've gone through cancer mm -hmm. and uh, I've seen how people suffer. And it's not something that you would want your loved one to go through. True. So I think it's time as a country, as um, the generation we are today to, to be free to talk about it. Mm -hmm. The more we talk about it, the more easy people would benefit, the more uh, information would get out. Sure. Yes. All right. Uh, the same question, I will move it to other projects that you want to do, like uh, Cerebral Pasi. Mm -hmm. uh, we have organizations, we have movements in this country, they have been there. But also, uh, there's something that I could say, it's kind of sickening. We see these people being used mm -hmm. by their maybe relatives mm -hmm. or people close to them to source funds, mm -hmm. and uh, they never benefit. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, we have a country where we'd want to see people with disability and especially now that you're speaking of this project mm -hmm. How will you now work maybe with the government or how will you work with um, mm -hmm. non-government organizations mm -hmm. to ensure that these people are catered for and no one takes advantage of them? Yeah, um, one of the projects that like really made me fall in love with this cause was um, I love fashion mm -hmm. and um, New York Fashion Week was a few months ago. Mm -hmm. And the first show of New York Fashion Week had these children walking the runway. Mm -hmm. This was the first time this has ever happened. Mm -hmm. So that just drew my attention. I said, this is a positive movement. True. I went around um, in Malindi, and by the time I got this school, we, they had a fundraising. They were raising funds because they feed these children. They give them breakfast, they give them lunch, and a snack before they go back home at four. But the main problem, the lady who's actually behind it is she's really like really, really trying her. She's re giving it her all. But it's like what most people see with these children is like a taboo again. Mm -hmm. Like most of the parents who are in this school are single parents, women who their men left because the men said, this is not my child. Like mm -hmm. there's nobody in my family who is disabled or has mm -hmm. this. So <coughs> it's a really a struggle. And this women, most of them don't have source of income that would actually help them run the project. Sure. But if we come together as a community and raise funds, like I'm sure like nowadays, most of us can afford 500 shillings, mm -hmm. but there's somebody back down there that cannot afford 500 shillings. So I don't want it to make it like a money, a money making project, but it should be more of a community benefiting project. True. Yes. All right. I know when you win, uh, when you become now Definitely Mr. Africa, <laughs> are we wishing you all the very best? But I, I'm sure you'll be now taking uh, around Africa and maybe the whole world. What is that one priority you have? One priority thing you're saying, one, once I get this, this is what I'm going to do. For me, my, my number one priority right now is the school in Malindi. Mm -hmm. and the wellness center, Shalahad. All right. Yes. And then uh, I would like you to encourage a young people out there, they have never tried, it's someone who came and spoke to you and motivated you to challenge yourself into this yes. area. What would you tell a young person seated home, they don't know what to do or what to go? Uh, one thing that I would tell the person who's seated at home is, this is your story, this is your script. Mm -hmm. You can either sit on it or change the script and add more characters to it. All right. So the choice is yours. Mm -hmm. If you see it in your head, you can have it in your hand. If you speak it with your mouth, definitely you can achieve anything. You see, many of the times I'm told we are not well exposed. Someone wants to do something, but they, know, they don't know where to begin. Who do you talk to? You have this idea, who do you go to? If you have the idea, mm -hmm. Like we've always had this saying, where there's a will, there's always a way. All right. Yes, it may take you a month, two months, but trust you me, as long as you believe on your idea and know you're not giving up, mm -hmm. God will definitely show you a way. All right. I want to put you on a spot. You're on hot seat. Uh, there is your camera. <laughs> Tell us 
where you you're going um, and i know it's nigeria but i want you to tell us how you expect to go and how you present yourself and because I'm, i know you're looking for votes to a fellow kenyans yes uh tell us how to vote for you and also maybe wish you all the best thank you very much all right okay i'm um, my name is said hussein and i'm the kenyan representative for mr africa 2019 and i'm going to go to nigeria lagos uh in december from the first week of December, that's December 2nd to December 9th. Uh, how you can vote for me um, is by Instagram and Facebook. You go to Mr. Africa International 2019. You can check on all the pictures, but remember, I am your Kenyan person, so please, please, please vote for me by liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends and family. How else can we pull in our efforts? I'll send you guys the link. Definitely will leave the link below and people can vote. Uh, maybe your social media platforms? Uh, my social media platforms are on Instagram, I am Dasi Hussein. On Facebook is Said Hussein. Twitter is Dasi Hussein. All right. We, as OY254 TV and the Broadcasting House, we wish you the very best when you go out there, represent Kenya fully and become the best. And when you win, we Definitely. hope to see the projects this, that you this, have seen here. This will be like one of those TV stations that I come back to. We we'll definitely host you and see the projects that you have mentioned here. Uh, we will see them uh, to how they will perform and uh, the, the, the necessary uh, efforts that you will be required. We will always air them. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you. He has been my guest, Hussein Saeed. As you have heard, he's competing for Mr. Africa. So vote for him, as he has mentioned. Coming up next is Owai Mashariki. I'll be seeing you again next week on Monday. Until then, have yourself a very good night. My name is Dereva Hillary. Goodbye. Why? Five four. Imagine.